Zadon Danny, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Nerd Chat here on Electro Ninja's Lab. I am here with my fellow host, Captain Jack. And Joker will not be here today. Well, he might be here a little bit later, but we haven't seen him yet. Um, so, who knows exactly what's going on there. But, anyways, <laughs> today we are going to be talking about Nintendo. And more specifically, I want to talk about the Direct and the fact that, well, TGS was just this weekend, so... And I think it's still going on. So, yeah. You've seen the new Nintendo Direct, right? Uh, yes, most of it. Okay. Can, can we just talk about how there were five farming games? <laughs> yeah, five farming sims. I, I don't... I don't understand that. And the other thing is, like, I think Square is doing three farming simulators right now? Square Enix? Yeah. Yeah. Because, obviously, they're doing Harvestella. I think the, one of the other uh, four is also them i don't remember which one but that's uh, that's also them and then um obviously it wasn't mentioned in the nintendo direct but final fantasy 14 has just added a uh, farming simulators thing which oh is just goodness. yeah like i get it to a certain degree that like farming simulators are what's big right now especially with stardew valley doing so well and uh, his next game is coming out at some point, which yes. I, I, I can't wait for chocolate, uh, Haunted Chocolatier. That's going to be fun. Me neither. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know how much he's going to have in his first version, but I'm absolutely excited to see exactly what they do. Um, and also, I'm hoping that it goes to GOG, because I don't want to use Steam. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, Nintendo. Uh, so what what of the games are you most excited for that they announced? Um, let me let me look. I can't. Remember. I have a bad bad memory. So. Yeah, we, they they had quite a few. I mean, I think Zelda is probably what I'm most excited for because they did have that in there briefly at the end, but. Yeah, most of the other games were kind of meh compared to uh, comparatively. Yeah. Like, Let's see. obviously the farming sims. I'm probably gonna. Uh, I'm. I'm definitely gonna play Harvestella because, like, I'm a square boy. Um. Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom sounds great. I need to finish Breath of the Wild. Yeah, absolutely finish Breath of the Wild. I, it's it's great. I don't even know. Like, I I have like some things that I haven't done yet. Specifically, I haven't done any of the DLC stuff. Story of Seasons. Oh, <laughs> uh, but I'll probably do that at some point. I just need to Faith think Farm. about it. I... Faith Farm looks like the most fun of the farming simulators to me personally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then there's like, I don't even know. There were there were a lot to say the least about in that direct. <laughs> and it's hard to remember every single one because like all of the farming simulators just kind of meld in my brain. Like, except for Harvestella. Like I said, I, uh, I'm i excited for Harvestella. I've been kind of looking at... I've been looking into the details about that for a while. And honestly, it looks the most excited to me. But, I don't know. Mario Kart 8 is getting... Yeah, Mario Kart 8 is getting some more stuff. I think it's like some Good. new... Uh, uh, some new Yay, tracks, right? Golf in the Nintendo Switch Sports. Thank fuck. Yeah. That that is really annoying. Like Nintendo Switch Sports has only like six games right now, or did they get more? Nope, just six right now. Okay, I, I don't understand why Rain they did code that. Sounds interesting. What what sounds interesting? Rain code. Oh, I think that was like a. I don't even remember what that was. That was a weird game. It's an it's it's a it's like a it's like a um. It's like a detective game. Oh, that one, yeah. You know what that reminded me of, actually? Persona. Yeah. Like, it just, uh, the first thing that struck me out about that was like, wait, is this like Persona 7 or whatever it is? Hell yeah. What, what are we on, actually, for Persona games? Like, 7? I, th I think you're right. 
So I was thinking that that was going to be Persona 7, and then it ended up being, like, this other game, and I'm like, oh, okay. I, I would have gone with Persona 7, but, um... <laughs> here for a Disney racing game. Every time they do a Disney racing game, it turns out pretty good. So, mm. I don't I don't think I've ever played a Disney racing game. Of course, I haven't played very many racing games in general. So, I love racing games. It's what I do with my life. It's when I'm not playing farm sims. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Like what? You have like I I think you have most of the Mario Karts, right? Oh yeah. Like probably like the only ones that you don't have are like the really early ones before they uh, before Xbox or before GameCube, right? Yeah, I don't have the ones before GameCube. Okay. Um, but yeah, obviously yeah. it's pretty easy to get anything that's GameCube or later. I mean, it, unless you want to, uh, except for Wii U as well, because Wii U is weird. But uh, everything that was on the Wii U went somewhere else as well, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. You know. Like the, uh, most of it went to the um. Uh, either went to the 3DS or to the Switch. The only exception to that rule is freaking uh, the Lego uh, City Undercover. That pissed me off. True. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like, it's two completely different games. City Undercover, and then there was like a um, prequel, and that was on the 3DS. And it's two completely different games. Like... I understand having some slight differences between the DS version and the other console versions, but two completely separate games that just boggles the mind. Yeah, that's really strange. Yeah. Luckily, for, uh, at least for me, they did eventually add the, um, ver uh, they remade it on PlayStation 4. That's nice. So, I can now play it, and I, I, ha I have enjoyed playing it, I do have to say. That was fun. But at the same time, it's like, why did you do that? <laughs> I don't know. And then everything else is going to... Uh, and then Switch is... It got pretty much everything at the later end of it. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, like, that's funny that Breath of the Wild was technically supposed to be for the Wii U. <laughs> right? And, like, no one played it on the Wii U. Like, no I, I... I... I bet there's just, like, a whole bunch of warehouses that still have the original Wii U versions of that game because no one bought it. Yep. <laughs> Everyone was just like, Switch, 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 Switch. Well, because the Wii U was, like, the Switch, so when what they started doing, they, start, they made the 2DS and the Wii U, and that was, like, the precursor to the Switch. And then when the Switch came out, we were like, oh, my gosh, they have all the best things about both. Yeah. Except for the fact that also the Wii U just completely flopped as a console. Like, oh, it's the Wii, but it has this giant tablet thing as the controller. Cool. That's a yeah, bit of weird of a gimmick. <laughs> it was weird. I never even was interested in the Wii U. Yeah. Like, I think of all of the nerdy birdies, I think the only person who had it was Ryan. Yeah. Like, no one else had it. Granted, I think that um, Hunter was more of an Xbox person. I don't know what Joe had. Joe had a lot of things, I think. Um, and then I don't know what Josh had either. Um, Joker never went to... Um, uh, uh, Joker stopped at PS3 for a while there. Like Josh is a Nintendo boy. Josh is a... Josh is a Nintendo boy? Okay. So that, uh, yeah. And then obviously, um... But mostly Nintendo. The, uh, uh Moon's family was, uh, nin uh, slightly Nintendo, but mostly Xbox, I think. So, yeah. That was, that was interesting. Anyways. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then obviously they didn't show any freaking Pokemon for whatever reason. Yeah. But to be fair, they do the Pokemon Direct separately. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, they, did, they didn't show Dreamlight Valley either, and that's because D23 just happened. Yeah, they're not gonna show that right after D23, because then no. it's, yeah. Well, that's I don't, I, what I don't understand, though, is that, um, Square only had, like, artwork 
for their um, next Final Fantasy. Like they haven't, game. they haven't shown, uh, they haven't shown any gameplay since like the very beginning, and they haven't shown like trailers or really anything. They've there's one Final Fantasy 16 trailer in existence, and that's it. And everyone's just like, where are they? Where are these trailers? Why do we not see any of this stuff? And I think it's overcorrecting, <laughs> yeah, because. It, it, for those of you who don't know, Final Fantasy XV, they went ham with the trailers, especially considering the fact that it took them ten years to make the game. Yeah. Of course, it was originally Versus Thirteen, but still, it took them ten years to make this game, and people were just like, Really? <laughs> that's, that's disappointing. And, yeah, Square, it seems like, um... Especially with their big games like Kingdom Hearts and um, Final Fantasy, they're really trying to pull back on how much they reveal because obviously these are their biggest games, and if people aren't, if people speak too much, if they speak too much about them, people are going to get their expectations way too high, and then it's just going to be like down the shitter. Like Final Fantasy fifteen. It flopped. I uh, I got the game. I was like, oh, this is a pretty good game. It it was well made. They had some really good features. And, yeah, I can understand why some people would be a little bit annoyed, but it was a completed game. And the up uh, all of the updates just went on to improve that. Same goes for the DLC. But because of the fact that so many people had their expectations so high, it just completely flopped similar story with no man's sky except for the fact that they actually chose to improve their game to whatever it is now which is insane you still there yep sorry <laughs> okay but yeah and then uh, the same thing went for kingdom hearts um cage three like every uh kingdom hearts three was a weird story anyways because a lot of fans, um, they didn't understand that Kingdom Hearts 3, it was never announced for, like, the longest time. And people were always like, when's it coming out? When is it coming out? People expected it as soon as Kingdom Hearts 2 came out. People expected that people were, uh, that they were working on it from the moment that Kingdom Hearts 2 came out all the way to the point where it is. And it just didn't show up for the longest time. Like, we went through two entire consoles, generations, and no Kingdom Hearts 3. Which was weird, considering the fact that the PS2 had two Kingdom Hearts uh, games. Um, yeah. And then instead we got a whole bunch of these random titles that people were like, what are these? And people didn't understand what Kingdom Hearts was at the time, so obviously a lot of those... like. Yes, the fans knew what they were and were enjoying them, but a lot of fans um, didn't get that. And while, well, yes, there were people who were like, Kingdom Hearts 3, Kingdom Hearts 3, as soon as it uh, its announcement released. And that, that gave some issues because of the fact that it lasted for way longer than it should have between announcement and release. Yeah. But the bigger problem was that there was... N uh, there, uh, it took so long between Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3, and that's why it didn't do as well as they were expecting it to. But, and then obviously a whole bunch of people are just like, eh, Kingdom Hearts 3 isn't as good of a game, when in actuality it's like one of the best games that they've done. Nice. So, yeah. Um, I obviously enjoy it. I, I, I know I went on a little bit of a rant there, and that's not even, uh, that's not even Nintendo. <laughs> at all which yeah but to be fair like they, they did some really interesting stuff um also another thing though i know this is uh playstation news but we're getting another tekken game which oh, nice. yeah like i know that tekken is not necessarily everyone's favorite of the um of the big fighters but i like it it's uh, it's one of my favorites um, I think the Soul Calibur is probably my favorite still, but I was gonna say it, it, that that was your big one. Yeah, 
yeah, Soul Calibur was my big one, and then obviously, freaking uh, Smash Bros is amazing. I mean, it's a classic. Yeah, there's, there's no debating that that's one of the best games that they've made, and especially the most recent one, mm, perfection. Who knows if they're ever gonna make another one? <laughs> I know they've kind of hit the peak. Yeah, and. Yeah, the creator is just like, yeah, no, I'm I'm done. <laughs> is he? I think he's done. He has said that he's done with it. Um, he thinks that this is the uh, this is the end of it. Which I mean, great place to end with the high note of Sora being added into Smash, but still. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah, basically the reason that they've been uh, that they've decided to stop is because they've done a they finally done a game where every single character is there and with every single character being there well there's not much else we can do yeah so yeah i mean good uh it's good that the story ended but at the same time it's a little bit sad obviously true yeah i don't know that's my opinion on it <laughs> Um, speaking of which, do you think there's going to be another Animal Crossing on the Switch? I don't. I think with New Horizons going so well and still being so popular, I think they're just going to update it over and over again. Yeah. And I just realized something that's really annoying. Apparently, you weren't coming through the desktop audio. <laughs> you were just coming through my mic audio, which sucks. So I haven't been heard this whole time? No, you've been heard. It's just been quiet. Ah. Uh. <laughs> but to be fair, I was talking most of it, so. <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Animal Crossing, I think, yeah, they probably won't be doing another Switch game, but at the same time, like, that would be really cool if they did. I just want to know what you think they would do. Like, what do you think that they would... Uh... Um, so I should send you a video, um, done by Jello Apocalypse, and I think that what he brought up in his video was actually really good. Um, uh -huh. and basically what he, uh, a lot of what he was saying was like, um, allow people, uh, allow there to be a little bit easier access to multiple different playthroughs, um, uh, different ways that people want to play it. And you could have multiple, uh, multiple places for each of the, um, uh, uh, multiple s towns, I should say. Um, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. copy link. If I can find it. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And I'll just send this to you over Facebook. Um. But yeah, basically, one of the things that he said was, uh, was that there should be multiple locations, uh, kind of like the island in, yeah. uh, in the last game, um, but it's like different locations for each one. Uh, he uh, Like, for Autumn, instead of being like, um, uh, it's basically uh, it's basically this farm location where uh, all of the, where crows are hanging out and stuff like that. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, I could see how they can improve stuff, but I know that Animal Crossing has been largely the same since they've done. Yeah, and that's basically what he he's trying to get across is like they need to do certain uh, some big things to change it because yeah, it has been the same for multiple years, and it not just multiple years. It's been the same since uh, Inception. Yeah, since forever. So yeah, it's it does need to have some improvement, and it unfortunately hasn't in ye forever really. Um, like, absolutely, I think that New Horizons was a step in the right direction, as was New Leaf. To be fair, um, agreed. Yeah, both games step in the right direction, but they do need to do some extra stuff. Um, one of the things that he suggested as well was like adding plants to the uh, to the museum so that you could have multiple different types of plants and you have to um, 
work to find those different items. And also, better inventory mag- uh, management. Um, Agreed. Yeah, there were there were a lot of things. Like, it was in a step in the right direction with inventory management in New Horizons, but at the same time, it was also a step in the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah. Because they added so many new items, and it was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> And you had to carry around so many more items for it, and it was just... I don't even yeah. know. But, yeah, they, they definitely improved things, but they also need to fix a few things and improve it to be better. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is really funny. I'm playing Disney Dreamlight, I just found Kristoff, and he goes, Sorry, I've just been lost in the woods for so long. Oh my gosh! That song is awful, but it's great. You want to know something else that's really funny about this 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 game? Is that I was in Mickey's house not too long ago, and I looked behind his couch in the very corner of his house, and there was the Pixar ball. I don't know if that's coming through, but I just clapped, and I was just like, yeah, that's good. <laughs> that That's perfect. I don't know. That That's awesome. So, yeah. This I need to play this game. We we're, Yes, you did. We're planning on next nerd chat we will be talking about it. Um because I'm actually going to give it a sh- I'm going to play it and get it before next uh, before next time. Obviously, I'm going to have like a day to actually look into this stuff and it's not going to yeah. be much <laughs> because I I'll also work that day. Carmen, relax. Unless we uh, unless we do uh, nerd chat on Sunday again, which I mean we could. Um. So... Uh. Okay, this is weird. I just went through a portal. You went through a portal. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where it's taking me. <laughs> that was impulsive. Oh God. Yeah. Oh wait, what's it doing? Oh, he also did a um. Let's make a Pokemon game, and I I want to send that to you as well because I think that what he um he says in that vi- in this video is looks like it might be what they're planning to do for the next uh, for Paldea really like that yeah not like, on- obviously yeah. it's not going to be exactly like it because what he uh, what he suggests is there are three different versions of the game and it's basically deciding your starter not your oh interesting and yes. you start in like three different uh, you'll start in one of three different locations on the uh, in the map and Event, and then the entire world becomes open to you. This is like the upside down. What the fuck? That's interesting. No. So I don't like, like that. At, at some point, you you should check that uh, check out those videos. I think they're really good. But yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah. You should you should check out some of the um, uh, some of. Jell Apocalypse videos. He's done some really weird stuff, and like, uh, which Scooby Doo character is the best? That's not a joke. He actually made a video about that, and he called it, and he said Fred is. <laughs> Why Fred is the worst? I think you might kind of agree with what he says in it, um, but he also mm-hmm. wants hot dog water to come back, which I don't know if you ever saw that. No. <laughs> No hot dog water. Huh? No. Why don't you like hot dog water? No. She's, uh, Velma's girlfriend. (laughs) I know, but her name, she's freaking hot dog water. (laughs) Uh, I think you should still watch the video. It's hilarious as fuck, and it's just like, don't take it too seriously because it's stupid, and it's great. Come on, boo. But I don't know. (laughs) he does some stupid shit and it's honestly really funny at times so that's basically all i'm saying that why you should watch jello apocalypse here we are supposed to be talking about nintendo and we end up talking about jello apocalypse (laughs) i mean that's par for the course with us anyways um yeah 
so you're reading Scandar, right? I am. So what? Yes. How far are you currently? Uh, he has just gotten to the island and realized that he might be in more trouble than he thinks. <laughs> oh yeah, he's he's gonna be in even more trouble once you see what happens. <laughs> um. So he's gotten to the island and. He was taken there illegally, yep. and then he got to, he, he hatched the unicorn, great, the door opened for him, awesome, uh, but then he got a unicorn that's going to be uh, not a good thing. Yeah, so, um, I think at this point, of course, have, have you met okay, all four characters before yet? Before we continue this, can we just talk about the absolute bullshit fantasy trope that is his name? <laughs> because I'm literally so, like peeved about this it is literally distressing me and i have ranted about it so much because everyone else in the book is called like george kenna their last name for god's sakes is smith <laughs> the first person they meet on the island is bobby right like, there's a character named mike yep and his name is goddamn skandar right so of course First of all, of course he's going to be the fucking chosen one. His name is goddamn Skandar. And of course he's going to be bringing trouble to the to the island because his name is fucking Skandar. He's just, it's the anime equivalent of having crazy ass hair and everyone else looking completely normal. And then there's Captain 12 Spikes with 87 colors of hair. And gee, I wonder who the main character is. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm done. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, you, have you met all four of the main characters yet? Ow. Uh, no. I've only met Skandar and Bobby. Yeah. So, yeah, Bobby is obviously, um, uh, uh is one of the main characters. I kind of, I don't want it to be the case, but I kind of feel like, uh, what they're going to do with the four characters is that eventually Skandar is going to get with Bobby Ow, no. I, I hope they don't do this, but at the same time, I feel like that might happen. And then um, the other two characters are somehow going to get together. Ugh. No. I mean... This is a book for children. We don't need a, we don't need romance. Yeah. Like, I hope that that's not the case, but it just ends up being the case so often that it's just kind of... Yeah. Um. Yeah. So you... So you haven't met them yet. Well, you have met them, but you haven't actually realized that it's them. Um, because yeah, the um. So if you uh yeah, let's see. Girls for full eyes. This is definitely her. Um, yeah, Mitchell. <laughs> Mitchell is one of the main characters, and then I th and Flo. So I don't think you've met them yet. That's in chapter. I've met Flo. She's screaming. Yeah. Um, and then is Flo or Bobby the one who put the ink on the on the unicorn stripe? I th think it might have been uh, it might have been Bobby. So then you've probably also met Mitchell. Mitchell is the other. He's the fourth main character. Flo, Mitch, uh, Flo, Mitchell, and uh, Bobby are the other main characters. Okay. Besides Skandar. Um, you're going to hate Mitchell for a while, but then I, I think he might become one of your favorite characters. All right. Um, because he's currently my favorite character, because he's uh, he's the one who realizes the shit that's going on. What was that noise? Oh, that was my chair. Okay. But, um, yeah, he's the one who realizes what's going on, and as I'm, uh, basically, as I'm putting together the pieces, he's like, it's this thing! <laughs> like, he, uh, you'll, you'll see it uh, as you go on, but, yeah, he real, uh, like, he's basically me. <laughs> Just, like, oh, th that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. And he ends up being, uh, well... He either ends up being right or he changes his opinion before it changes uh, before he does that. Interesting. Like you'll you will realize uh, as an adult you're going to realize these things anyways, but 
It's great. It, it's... I love it. I love it because of the fact that it, so many things, like, they act like this is a huge surprise. And then there's me just in the background being like, but it was so obvious. <laughs> like, frick. Um, you've you've watched Lock and Key at this point, right? No. Oh, you haven't. Okay. But, like, there's, like, this character, and I've mentioned it before, that he's the bad guy. And I, as soon as I see this character show up on screen, I'm like, oh, he's the bad guy. And my parents were like, what? Have you seen this? And I'm like, no. But he's the bad guy. You can tell. <laughs> but... I guess, like, it wasn't obvious to literally anybody else, so... Weird. Yeah. Like, he he suddenly shows up out of the blue, right after the uh, the main villain leaves. Hmm. I think that's a bit weird, don't you? <laughs> but... Huh. I don't know. You'll, you'll, you'll see it uh, as you go, um... Is that what show you want me to watch in exchange for you reading whatever I told you to read? Or doing whatever I told you to do? Uh, you said Dreamlight Valley, so yes. Okay, Lock and Key? Yeah, Lock and Key, you should watch it. It's it's great. I love it. Um, but, yeah. There it is. I hear it's got good autism representation as well. Yes, it absolutely does. Um, one of the best characters is um uh is a bit autistic so i'm turning it on now <laughs> why am i not surprised i don't know why would you be surprised fair enough but yeah wasn't it a book as well yes i have a book um i also have um two versions of the uh prequel series or prequel comic Night. um and I'm sending one of them to Joker at some point. Nice. So, yeah. But that's mostly because I was an idiot. So. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Why were you an idiot? Uh, because I didn't realize I had it when I went, mm. when I went to a comic book store. And I, I saw it and I was like, oh, do, did I get this yet? I don't think I did. So I went, picked it up, and I'm like, and then I come home and I'm like, oh, I already had it. Whoops. Whoops, whoopsie. Anyways, but yeah, it, it's interesting, and I think I think you will like, uh, you are gonna like the series. It's it's amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna no. get uh, Dreamlight Valley before too long. Um, and I, and speaking of all of these different series that we're getting into, um, I was scrolling through Twitter. And the creator of Skandar uh, um, tweeted another writer who uh, apparently their book, uh, their second book just got its uh, cover revealed. So I decided uh -huh. to pick up the first book. And yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what exactly it is. I haven't started it yet, but it's called Fireborn. And, All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what exactly is going to be happening with that. Um, but... Basically, it's about a girl who gave up her name and identity to train in the arts of fighting monsters, but secretly builds her skills to take revenge on those who took her family from her. The Twelve's new home is attacked, and a fellow huntling named Seven is captured. Twelve decides to rescue Seven alone, a choice that sends her on an epic quest far from all she knows and on a path. That she that will lead to her to discover dark truths about her world and the past she has so desperately tried to hide. Wow, that's that's literally that's a from the back. <laughs> that's a lot to process. Yeah, her yeah her name is Twelve and she's a huntling apparently, but yeah, I'm I'm intrigued to see what exactly it is. Um, it's got a really nice cover. Uh. Basically, I think that's 12 that's on the cover, and she's riding this stone wolf, and it looks amazing. Um, like I said, I haven't read it yet, um, so I can't give you, like, an actual, uh, 
anything on it. Especially since yeah. I have other books that need to be read. Oh my gosh. I have too many books I need to read. Like Heroes of Olympus, which I'm going to be reading later today. So hopefully I can finish that at some point today. Or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I'm about halfway through. <sighs> so, yeah. Yeah, Son of Neptune, pretty good. I'm enjoying it. Need to, uh, I need to read more of the Heroes of Olympus. They're so good. And I'm just such a slow reader. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and read some more of that. I also need to, of course, read the Kane Chronicles, which that'll be fun. Um, what I thought was interesting is, uh, I was watching a video about, um, the order to read these things. And basically what, um, this person said is you can either read, uh, uh read the series in order of their release with the, um, starting with the Percy Jackson stuff, or you can read them in chronological order. And he said, Kane Chronicles, then Heroes of Olympus. And I'm like, but didn't Heroes of Olympus come first? <laughs> or at least the first one, I think. I don't know. But th they were coming out simultaneously, so it doesn't really matter. I don't know. You still there? Sorry. Sorry. Got distracted? Yep. yep. Cool, cool. Yeah. Anyways, uh, <laughs> but yeah, there, there were some, uh, there's some interesting stuff and I'm, I'm intrigued to see exactly what they're going to be doing as they continue with the, yeah. uh, with Heroes of Olympus and yeah, King Chronicles will definitely be my next stop after I finish up with, um, at least once I finish up Son of Neptune, I'm going to start reading, uh, the Red Pyramid, and then um, The Throne of Fire, and as I'm doing that, I'm also going to be listening to um, the other uh, the other three books from Heroes of Olympus. Nice. So, that'll be fun. It's nice to have an audiobook to actually listen to things instead of having to actually sit down and read them. <laughs> True. Yeah, for you, that works really, really well. And then for you, it's like, no, I want to read. For me, that works like crap, but for you, that works really, really well. Yeah. Especially since I have, like, 20 other freaking things I need to do. Yeah. <laughs> like YouTube, which I know I've been slacking. You guys don't have to remind me. <sighs> yeah, I I don't know. I need, to, I need to get back into the flow with making actual videos. Because, yeah, I made my Show Zom 100 Some Love video. And that was between Nerd Chat 19 and Nerd Chat 20. Which, this is one, uh, this is 21, so... Yay. But, wow. um, yeah, between 17, 18, and 19, there was nothing. And then, um, between 16 and 17, uh, there was my, uh, Let's Play. And then between 15 and 16, there was also my Stardew Valley Let's Play. And then between 14 and 15 was the Skandar video. Nothing between 14 and 13 or 12. Uh, we had our, our, le uh, our short little let's play, um, that we did, uh, um, between 12 and 11. And then there was a Balin video between 10 and 11. And then that was, uh, and then we haven't done any nerd chats, but, uh, we didn't do nerd chats for a while there. <laughs> um, <laughs> true. true. Yeah. Which I mean... To be fair, that makes quite a bit of sense considering what was going on at the time. Um, just we had we had school and other shit taking precedence and all that other stuff. Um, but yeah. Uh, what was I? Th then there was something else that I also did. Um, yeah, l let's see. When was the last nerd chat? <laughs> Over a year ago, which. Thinking about it, that means that this will be our first, 
uh, the next few episodes will probably be our first few holiday specials. Yep. yep. So, yeah, I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but I kind of want to do something um, sometime in October. I kind of want to do uh, pretty much, I guess for all of the ones in October, I want to do something that involves spookiness. So next episode, uh, next episode will have to be something else because that's not uh, that's still September, and then everyone after that, all the way through the twenty ninth, will be October, and then we do the Thanksgiving stuff, <laughs> and then finally just right. Christmas. <laughs> Good God, it's that soon. Yeah, that that's insane to think about that we're already so close to the end of the year. Oh, God, it was just 2020, 21, not two seconds ago. Yeah, it feels like it was just 2020 also to me. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I feel like I just graduated high school. Let's be real. That's true. Like, I mean, it's, I don't know. It Like, remember in high school when it felt like the years actually took forever? And then now it's just like, What? Like Frell, Seriously. the Nerdy Birdies weren't uh, weren't formed until 2016. Yeah. yeah, and we still consider like all of us to be like the closest friends, and we only really hung out for like two years there. True. And <laughs> even then, we hardly ever were all together at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Of course, we did have the precursor to the Nerdy Birdies, BP Six. True, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That was a deep, dark memory right there. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe we did that. That was insane. Did we ever actually prank anybody? Yes! We we pranked uh, Lindsay and Josh. Oh. And then the Perfect. rest of the time we were just hanging out. <laughs> and I was the only... Uh, uh, guy <laughs> yep <laughs> that was insane oh that was weird <laughs> we're, uh, so, wait it was both amanda's were in that right yep, yep. And, and taylor and uh wait oh that taylor i was like wait not that one right no not the, My not friend. the bad one the good one yeah, yeah. We're not going any further than that because then it's going to be chaos. Um, anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Oh, wow. Um, was the... Uh, what's her name? I'm forgetting what her name was. Uh, uh, there was another girl who... Because I know that it was like the drama club from youth, A-Ray? Uh, from youth group that I had formed, which was... Are you talking about A-Ray? Yeah, that one. Yeah. I don't think she was in the BP6. Right? But she was in my uh, in the drama club. Yeah, yeah she, she was, was not in BP6. Yeah. Mostly because you guys had issues. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Um That's weird. So much happened in such a short amount of time in high school, like looking back. Like Yeah. yeah. Fro, like we uh, we were, we would say like we uh, we uh, we dated for a long time, and then me and Moon dated for a long time, and it's just like it felt like it was uh, it was so long, but in actuality it was like just a few years, and now it's like wait, it's what now? <laughs> it's what year now? <laughs> it's almost twenty twenty three. What? <laughs> what do you mean I'm gonna be twenty four soon? Yeah, what the fuck? I don't know. It, I don't know. There was just so much that happened in that time, and it's just like... I feel like we've done nothing since then. Like, sure, I've done a lot more videos on YouTube since then, but... Yeah. That's insane to think about, that we will uh, soon... Oh, fuck. We're, we're nearing, like... The six-year anniversary of school? Ten? Oh, yeah. Well, ten from when we started, and... Shit. That's insane. 
Could you imagine, though, if we did, like, a 10-year anniversary for the Nerdy Birdies, though? <laughs> Gosh, no kidding. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I think that we should, if we are going to have a reunion with them, we should probably do it before then. <laughs> but I... at the same time, like, are we even going to have time? <laughs> right, seriously. Yeah, I don't know. Like, for all my... Uh, my seven year, uh, we we passed my seven year anniversary of my uh, of the channel existing, which was in August, and then um, so the I'm already trying to plan out the ten year anniversary, which I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do what I kind of want to do, which is get the um, everyone who's been on the channel together and basically be like, this is everybody. <laughs> But I doubt that that's going to happen just because there were a lot of people on the channel. Um, and I don't have contact information for half of them anymore. Yeah. Um, like, fudge. Uh, Moon Sisters were, uh, were on the channel at the very beginning. Um, at least when I was doing Minecraft videos, which... Thinking back on it, like, holy crap, I did Minecraft videos at one point. You did, yep. And, like, they're, they're so old at this point. Holy crap. We are different. We can sing. We can dance. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Don't remind me of that monstrosity. It's still one of my most viewed videos. That's not even a joke. I, I think you should uh, make a remake. I kind of want to. But yeah, it's, uh, let's see, where is it currently? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Stop. eight, nine, ten. It's number 11 on my most viewed videos, and some of those videos are partially blocked. So, yeah. Gosh. Holy crap. It's, it's, it's up there. It's really high up there. Yep. You need to remake it. I am thinking about doing so. Um, my uh, my video that's right above it is my Native American Miraculous. Uh. <laughs> Which is just like, what the fuck? How is that the video that was seen just a little bit more than that? Um, but yeah, that was... Uh, I, I love that I made that video in 2019 and we just got a reveal that that's actually real. Right. Like, uh, it it didn't do that great back when it first released, but then as soon as, like, it was actually revealed that it happened, just... Poof. Yeah, huge numbers, and it was just like, what the heck? Um, yeah. So, um, my most... Uh, uh, the person who's, uh, who talked on my... Uh, who has commented on most of my videos, um... He commented on that when it first released. And then the most recent comment is from six months ago when this was revealed that it was Whoa. actually happening. And it was just like, what the f That's pretty insane. <laughs> yeah. Like, bro, I think this... Yeah, this video was before I had a green screen. Wow. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, it's even worse. This is oh no. This is back when I had one shelf of manga. Oh my gosh. And now like you've seen it. It's it's terrifying now. It, it yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is insane to me to think about. We are different. We can sing. <laughs> oh my gosh, we are never playing that song on this. Uh, on this, <laughs> please no. Of course, that is my only song that is not on Spotify. What a shame. Yeah. <laughs> that song is just. What the. Fuck, did I? It had good intentions. It did have good intentions, but at the same time, it was like, looking back, it is so cringeworthy. Oh, yeah. The music video is just incredible. <laughs> <laughs> just, 
just the the Minecraft just characters just dancing along. <laughs> you were so proud of it too. Oh my gosh, it was awful, but it was great. Oh my gosh. Uh, go to artist. There we go. So yeah, um, yeah. As of right now, there are four albums on my uh, that I have on my Spotify that I've released, and it's Christmas with the Nerds, which that was that was great. Let's just be honest here. That was great. Um, yeah. Fly with Dragons, which was my first it uh, was my first collaboration since I uh, with somebody that was um not really a part of the lab in general. So, yeah. Um that was fun. Um then there was Into the Lab, which has just pretty much just random songs that I've made over the years or that I've worked with people making over the years. And then Thanksgiving in the Lab, which I th I'm surprised that currently Christmas with the Nerds is more popular than Thanksgiving in the Lab. <laughs> because obviously like Thanksgiving in the lab the reason no actually that it's just because Christmas with the nerds the actual song is more popular than thanks uh, than the Thanksgiving songs oh gotcha yeah so fly with dragons is my most popular song followed by Christmas with the nerds then walking around the turkey bar have yourself a bittersweet Thanksgiving and do they know it's Thanksgiving oh my gosh <laughs> And then it's the most chaotic time of the year, and then some songs from uh, Into the Lab. Nice. So, yeah, it's fun. It's just like, wow. <laughs> but, yeah. Christmas with the Nerds is... That That was a fun song. I think that uh, Christmas with the Nerds, the actual song, was probably my best song that we've done. Um... At least so far, um, because it's it's my only original Christmas song. Um, everything else is a parody. Thanksgiving right. in the lab, everything is a parody. Um, into the lab, there uh, pretty much every song in Into the Lab is an original song. Same goes with Fly with Dragons, but that's about it. So that yeah, is kind of interesting. Here we are talking about my music when we're supposed to be talking about <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> uh, we're not good at talking about what we're supposed to be talking about. That's true. I, I love that we, like, put these images as, this is what we're talking about for this video, and then we don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah. No. We, like, we... frick. Did we, have we talked about any of these topics, actually? Like, even including the original series? Yeah, yeah Pokemon. Besides Pokemon. No. no. I don't think we have, no. Uh, actually, I think we did talk about uh, mental disabilities and stuff. Oh, we, oh, we did talk about disabilities, yeah. I think we, we stayed, stayed pretty on well on that. Topic. Um, let's see here. So let's see. So we uh, we introduced, uh, we did uh, My Hero Academia. I think that me and Joker stayed on topic for that. Um, getting to know us plus <laughs> Pokemon. Well. Holy crap, we did a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> Um, yeah, we we did we kind of stayed on topic with Marvel, I think, because it was Marvel, DC, and ADHD, and then we did Star Wars. I I love that for the miraculous pic, uh, the one with the miraculous picture. I just named it Chaos because we didn't stay on topic at all. <laughs> um, and then we uh, for the Doctor <coughs> Who, what I called it, Doctor Who attempt. <laughs> 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 Bless me. Oh my gosh. Uh, then we talked about the disabilities, and I think that one we actually did stay on topic for the entire thing. Um, and then we had the in person one in Oregon, <coughs> which that was fun. That was a good episode. Um, uh, and then we had the Final Fantasy one, which was the last one before we did the catch up. Yeah. yeah. Which. We were supposed to be talking about Percy Jackson in the video. <laughs> I don't think we did. And then I did, uh, I think me and Joker might have stayed a little bit on topic with, um, when we talked about reincarnated as a sword. We might have stayed a little bit on topic with Stardew Valley. 
Um, Little House on the Prairie, we kind of meant to go, like, all over the place anyway, so I'm not that surprised. True. True. Um, we did stay on topic for Pokemon. Gog was a weird one, because we uh, we talked about Gog for, like, five seconds, I think, and then we went on to talk about other stuff. Um, Pokemon. True. We did so many Pokemon videos, holy shit. Hey, we have interests. That's true. Let's see. So, one, two, three, uh, four. So, we did four. We've done four different Pokemon ones. Wow. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense for us. But, <laughs> still, that's funny. I don't know. I'm really looking forward. I, I feel like we're going to stay on topic for next week's Disney Dreamlight Valley one. We might. Uh, Joker, I don't think has played it yet though, so we don't know. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see if he if he picks it up and starts. Well, he can't play it. He doesn't have right. a switch yet. Well, it hasn't right. been delivered to him. We... Oh, he did get them to send it. I think he uh, he's talked to, uh, to them about sending it, and he's asking them to send it. Um, but I don't know exactly when that's gonna be. Yeah. yeah. And he doesn't either. Uh, I think he's uh, he is hoping that they will send it to him. Um, they're still being a bit jerky about it and saying, no, you don't need it and stuff like that. And it's just like, why, why are you not sending him his thing? Yeah. I don't know. It's whatever. Um, but yeah. So I want, uh, real quick, I want you to take a wild guess as to what my most video playlist is. Pokemon. Uh, no. <laughs> Pokemon only has 18 videos. <laughs> uh, but no. Uh, Theory Chat is my most viewed, is my most videos, um, playlist with 521 videos. And then after, wow. and then after that is news and reviews. With, uh, 360. So... Yeah, close but no cigar. There, there's a. I've done a lot of theory videos. That that's actually insane. Um. Oh, that's interesting. I did uh, my first theory chat was Cage Three's release date. It was guessing at what when Cage Three's release date was, and then I had like a few with um. Uh, I had a few with Matt. Which I know you guys never met him. Um, and then everything else, just like shit tons of stuff. All Mostly involving Miraculous, but there were some other stuff. There was some other ones. Of course, that doesn't mean much when you uh, when I spent like a good long while talking about Miraculous. You did. <laughs> Which I should get back to because those are my most viewed videos. Um, but it's just that, obviously, Miraculous hasn't had its new season yet. Yeah, yeah true. Well, we're waiting on it. It's it's supposed to be starting soon, but we don't know when. I think that uh, the first episode has actually released over in Brazil, but I'm not going to watch it until, um, I've actually, uh, until it's actually here in America. And I think I've... I, I might have said that before, but for anyone who's wondering... That's why there is no video yet. I'm working on it. Uh, uh, I am working on making some plans for Miraculous, but I don't want to actually make any videos um, on, uh, reviewing the episodes until they have actually released. One in English, but two in a way that I can watch them without pirating them. That makes sense. Yeah, I can respect that. Yeah. Like, technically, yes... Uh, watching them on uh, Disney now is not, it's not giving them as much money as th that they probably deserve, but at the same time, it's like, it's better that they're getting something out of my view than nothing. Correct. Correct. So, and that's, that's something important that we should always make very clear. If you actually want to support a creator, absolutely always watch it in official form. 
no matter what it is, try to watch it in as official of a form as you can. So if you're watching anime, that goes for watch video it on games too. I'm sorry? I had, that goes for video games as well. Yes. Right? Yes. There are some games that come from places that are, you know, I would consider it, you know, okay to pirate from, right? So if, like, I know this sounds funny, but a lot of places, like the places that don't treat their designers and game makers well. Blizzard. Um, Blizzard. Yeah, Blizzard's a great example. Um, game Freak can be a little bit questionable about it. Not with like Pokemon, but with other games that they release. Yeah. Um, I know, just like some some places don't treat their employees well, and I feel like it's a little bit different yeah, it, if you pet them there than, yeah. say, uh, pirating Stardew Valley, right? Pir pirating Stardew Valley is just morally just wrong, yeah. empty. Yeah, and uh, I, I think... You're devoid of morals if you pirate Stardew Valley, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like, he is literally doing this out of the kindness of his heart, and he's making, making games by himself... Like, what are you doing if you're pirating? And that? Not only are they by himself, but they're absolutely incredible. And he does them for so cheap. Yeah. I think Stardew Valley runs $15. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it is currently on uh, on GOG or Steam, but it's it's still cheap as heck. And I think, like, at most, you're spending, like, 20 bucks on it. Don't pirate. Yeah, and if you can't afford that, um, then get the mobile version, which is $5. Like, really. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely, support uh, support the creators because that's the most important thing, um, especially when it comes to uh, to smaller games. Absolutely, one hundred percent, buy them. Do not pirate them. Whatever you do, and um, I I know that in my when we talked about Gog, I think I might have made things a little unclear as to what I was talking about um, because um. When I said that you can share games with each uh, with friends and stuff, basically what I was saying is like you. Uh, it's kind of like if you own an actual disc, you can share it with the with the people in your family and stuff. Don't don't re uh, don't put it onto like a public uh, sharing f forum. That's that's shitty. That would be wrong. That is absolutely yeah. wrong. Do not do that. That is pirating. Do not do that. If you're going to share it with anybody, share it with your friends under a safe way to uh, to share downloads. Don't share it just because, oh, it's uh, it's easy to do this. No, don't do it like that. Use a flash drive. You uh, Send it to them over email with a secure email. Don't do it like anything else. Because yeah, that you don't want to get yourself in trouble. You don't want to get the. Uh, you don't want to end up hurting the actual creator. So yeah, like I said, flash drive is usually the best option with that. If you are going to be doing something with those. Yep. Um, but still, you should buy. Uh, if you are going to buy a game, uh, if you are getting a game on GOG, I do still recommend absolutely buy it. Don't just like ask your friend to buy it for you, or if your friend bought it, don't have them just give it to you because that's scummy because yeah anyways yeah just, just responsible gaming folks yeah be responsible don't be an asshole that's the important thing and i think that that's probably a good place to end this video <laughs> all, right. all right uh but anyways like guys it. hopefully you guys have enjoyed this nerd chat uh i know we went a little bit all over the place but that's par for the course with us anyways guys that's probably going to be our new uh, slogan. That's par for the course with us. Yep, I like it. Put it on a shirt. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully you guys have enjoyed this nerd chat. I've been Electro Ninja. And I'm Dak. And we will see you guys next time. But on. <laughs>